both Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky and Russian President Vladimir Putin have signaled support for international inspectors to visit the Zaporizhia nuclear power plant after both nations claimed the other attacked it, striking fears of an impending nuclear disaster. In his nightly address Friday, Zelensky said that a delegation of Ukrainian diplomats, United Nations diplomats and the International Atomic Energy Agency are working out specific details of a mission to be sent to the power plant. With this mission, the restoration of full security at the ZNPPA. The Kremlin said that Putin told French President Emmanuel Macron in their first phone conversation since May that Ukrainian shelling around the Zaporizhia nuclear power plant raised the threat of a large-scale catastrophe that could lead to radioactive contamination of large territories. Putin Russia and Ukraine are still blaming each other for an attack on the nuclear power plant, which is the largest of its kind in Europe. Ukraine's state nuclear power company, Energiotom, previously said in a statement that an attack on the plant created a humanitarian disaster in the city. The situation at the nuclear power plant remained largely unchanged on Friday, despite claims by the Russian Ministry of Defense that Ukrainian. There were no casualties. Russian forces stepped up their battle to seize one of the dwindling number of cities in embattled eastern Ukraine not already under their control while continuing to fire on towns and villages in the country's north and south, Ukrainian officials said Saturday. The United States will ship another package of arms to Ukraine, including long-range artillery ammunition used to devastating effect on Russian forces, according to a senior defense official. The $775 million aid package includes ammunition for the High Mobility Artillery Rocket Systems, or HIMARS, which has been employed masterfully by Ukrainian forces, said the official, who spoke on condition of anonymity under guidelines set by the Pentagon. The rockets with a range of more than 40 miles have been used to destroy Russian command posts, ammunition depots and logistics hubs. The military aid package includes drones, conventional artillery ammunition and mine-resistant ambush-protected MRAP, vehicles to protect Ukrainian troops from Russian roadside bombs, the official said. The United States has provided $12.6 billion in military aid to Ukraine since 2014, more than $10 billion of it in the last year.